A successful way I've seen group policy used in many cases is when it pertains to the Documents folder. So if I right-click on Documents and go to Properties, we can see that the location is on the C drive. And the problem with that is a lot of users save data to this particular folder, and then their hard drive crashes, and then they have no backup of it. So we can redirect using Group Policy this Documents folder onto the server. I'm now logged back into the domain controller in Group Policy Management, and I'm going to right-click and choose to create a new Group Policy object in this domain and link it here. And I'll call it Documents Folder Redirection. And because I'm putting this at the root level, it means that everyone's going to be affected by that. If I wanted to apply to specific users, I could go to the organizational unit, or I could filter down to particular users or groups. I'm going to go to Edit, and I'll expand the User Configuration, Policies, Windows Settings, Folder Redirection, and then Documents. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and go to Properties on this Documents folder. We see by default it's not configured, so I'm going to choose the basic Redirect Everyone's Folder to the same location. And then I'm going to go to where it says Target Folder Location, and I'm going to say Redirect to the following location. There's several different options there we can choose. I'm going to choose the root path to DCO2 data, and that's going to be a UNC path. So if I type in DCO2, then I see the data folder. So I know that that is a shared folder that I can use. I also want to check to make sure the permissions are correct as well. Under the target folder location, if I hit the drop down, you see you can redirect it to the user's home directory. So you don't have to do anything. It'll just happen automatically. Create a folder for each user under the root path or redirect to the local user profile location. I find that this particular option is a good one. It's easy to locate, and you'll see everyone's in there all at once. You can ignore the message about the older operating systems. Click Yes, and now we're ready to go. I'm logging back into the Windows 10 computer, and you'll either need to restart, log off, and log back in, or type the gpupdate slash force command to get the user group policy object to update. In this particular case, I just chose to sign off and sign back in. After logging back in and opening up File Explorer, we can see under Documents there's this little green circle with the Recycle on there, a redirect icon. And if I go to Properties of it, then we can see that it's being redirected to DCO2, Data, and then it created a special folder just for the administrator. And that's who I'm logged in as. And it'll create a new folder for any particular user that logs in, and then you can make sure that that folder is being backed up as part of your backup rotation. Folder redirection is a useful way to make sure everyone's documents gets backed up onto the network using group policy.